Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, we will see how to add a cookie manager and what is the importance of cookie manager. So, uh, what is cookie manager? Cookie manager is inbuilt function feature of NGMeter which will help us to handle uh, the cookie by default by JMeter. So, how to add a cookie manager? So, go to the thread group, right click on thread group, add config elements. Go, we will, here we, need, we will have the cookie manager, HTTP cookie manager. So this will add us, when you add this to a test plan or a thread group, JMeter will read the config element when it was starting the test or execution uh, and we will just see that we have added the cookie manager and it will, it will recognize that we will add, it will add a cookies to the uh, respect to request going forward. So we need to clear our cookies on each iteration. So this is a previous run, what we have. So we'll see whether we have any any cookie here. So we don't have any cookie here. We don't have any cookie here. We don't have any cookie here. So uh, I've added the cookie manager now. Just I will run it one more iteration. We'll run one more iteration and we'll see. We'll run one more iteration and we'll see whether we added any cookie or not so we got a new launch page here we don't have any cookies here click on sign so we got one, one cookie manager here one cookie here j session id if we have not order added our cookie manager it's our responsibility to handle cookie for each and every request so that is a very uh, tough job to handle the each and every request with cookie and, and we have multiple cookies for each request. So correlating them and passing in the request is a very tough job. So JMeter has made it easy uh, by adding the cookie manager uh, uh, config element. If you add cookie manager uh, element in your JMeter, uh, when, you, when you receive a uh, cookie in your response header, when you receive a cookie in your response header, JMeter will take it uh, automatically and it will add to the uh, uh, following request where the domain name it matches. So if it is regarding it is if it is uh, store octopop.com then it will add the cookie to all same domain requests. If there is any other domain, JMeter due to security, JMeter will not add the cookie which came from the another domain to the next domain. So let's say some you some of the people will have a Microsoft login so uh, for their application. So when you log in with your application, the domain of Microsoft is different and the application uh, domain will be different. So JMeter will not uh, forward the cookies came from the Microsoft to your application. So at that time we need to handle cookies manually. So how to handle that cookies manually? So you need to add uh, to if you are handling the cookies manually, uh, you need to go for specific request uh, where you want to add the cookie. Right click, add uh, config element, cookie manager in under the request. Under the request, next uh, add your uh, cookie name. So that is J session ID. J session ID. If value. I'm giving it as a test value. I'm giving it a test value. And you need to mention complete domain name. If you don't mention domain name, JMeter will ignore if you don't have a domain added to your cookie manager. Domain and path. I'm making it as a slash completely. Uh, I'm making it as secure. So if you receive your uh, uh, if you if you receive your cookie with secure in the response, you will have that uh, the HTTP only. If it is HTTP only, then no need to add secure here. So if it is a, you will have a secure keyword there. Then if it is secure, then you need to enable this secure button. So it is not secure, so I'm not adding it. So to just to differentiate with the uh, our cookies and other cookie, I'm adding it as any uh, cookie one. Cookie one. I'm resolving this cookie manager just to uh, see whether our cookies is sending or not. So into this request. So for this request, you need to create uh, a cookie as in a J session ID. J session ID one. Okay. So we'll run it now. So 
So see, we have added the cookie manually and it was passing the J session test value. So if you want to add a cookie manually, so you need to mention domain, complete domain, even if it is coming from different domain, you should add the domain, what it was passing here. If, uh, if you're adding to the request, uh, this request, you need to pass this domain to your cookie manager. If it is, we'll change the domain name now. I make it a com1 and we'll run it again and we'll see whether it will, will it pass or not. Jmeter by default, if it domain name doesn't match, Jmeter will not send that cookie to the server. See, now there is no cookie sent to the server. So we need to make sure that we need to add the cookie domain name perfectly. So this is how we need to add. Uh, this is how we need to add manual cookie. If there is a, uh, a domain mismatch, and even like if you are getting a cookie from one domain to another domain, if you are getting, if your application have only single domain and no cookies forwarding from one domain to another domain, you can directly use HTTP Cookie Manager and enable check your check this box to clear cookies on every iteration. Thanks, friends. Thanks for listening this video.